hello friends welcome to my channel and this video deals about uh, the Carnot cycle in the previous video we have seen about the introduction to vapor power cycle now we will see the first vapor power cycle that is Carnot cycle This is the PV diagram. This is P and this is V. This is P1 and this is P2 and now TS diagram this is T and this is yes This is four, one, two, three, T one, T two. And this is the direction. Carnot cycle is the is the first vapor power cycle and it is not a practically applicable cycle it is just a theoretical cycle and the steps we will see the steps which have to be included in this explanation the first one is process 4 to 1 that is 4 to 1 in this process The heat is supplied to the steam by using the boiler at constant temperature T1 and pressure P1 that is Q41 is equal to T1 into S1 minus S4 Process. process 1 to 2 in this process the steam expands
and temperature decreases to T2 and P2 that is Q 1 to 2 is equal to 0 process 2 to 3 in this process in this process the steam loses completely and the temperature and pressure Q23 is equal to T2 into S2 minus S3 now process Three to four in this process. The steam is compressed. And pressure and temperature of the steam is increased to P1 and T1 that is Q34 is equal to 0 now we will see the work done here the point 1 is equal is taken equal to point 2 and point 3 is equal to point 4 therefore what done will be Q 
फोर वन माइनस क्यू टू थ्री दैट इज दिस इज हीट एडेड एंड दिस इज हीट रिजेक्टेड दैट विल बी इक्वल टू टी वन इंटू एस टू माइनस एस थ्री माइनस टी टू इंटू एस टू माइनस एस थ्री थर्मल एफिशिएंसी दैट इज वर्क डन बाय इट्स सप्लाइड That is equal to T one into S two minus S three minus T two into S two minus S three divided by S one into T one into S two minus S three. Here S two minus S three will be cancelled. therefore the thermal efficiency will be t1 minus t2 by t1 this will be the efficiency of carnot cycle Thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe